Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up pure perms on your Minecraft Pocket Edition server so that you can have permissions. So, let's get straight into it. So, to install this plugin, you'll first need to download it. So, just go to this page, there'll be a link down in the description to it, and then click Direct Download. Save it. And then once you've saved it, go to the control panel for your Minecraft server. Ensure that you're currently running Pocketmine. If you're not, click change and then select Pocketmine and the latest version to ensure that the plugin works correctly. Then once you've done that, go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder and click upload file. Choose files, select the file that we just downloaded. Click upload from computer. And then once you've done that, restart the server. Once you have restarted your server, give it a few minutes to start up and then once you have, click the refresh button and you should see a folder called Pure Perms appear. So if we go into this folder, you should see multiple files that we're going to be looking at in a moment. So the first file that we'll quickly take a look at is config.yml, so if you open that file, in here you've got some very basic settings that you can change for this plugin. I'm not going to be editing any of them, however you can um, enable OP if you want to, if you still want that to be a feature. You can enable multi-word permissions if you're using multiple worlds. And you can set up MySQL if you've got multiple servers and you want to connect them together. However, I'm just going to be leaving that as default as they're fine for most servers. So click save once you've made any changes. And then the next file we're going to take a look at is the messages-en.yml file. So in here are all the messages that are available for the plugin. So say if you run a command in game, this, these are the messages that will be displayed. So feel free to update these messages um, or change the language of them or whatever you wish. Once you've made any changes, again, click save. And then the most important file is the groups.yml file. So if you open this, in here are all of the groups or permissions that are set up with pure perms. So by default, it comes with some really nice groups that makes it really easy for you to set up. So by default, you have the guest group, the admin group, the owner group, and OP. So this is where you basically add, remove, or um, edit groups or permissions. So as they've already created some groups for us by default, it makes it a lot simpler for us to do. So you can do this within the file, or you can do it in-game with some commands. So we're just going to quickly go over how to do this in the groups.yml file. So if you wanted to create a new group, let's say a moderator group, you would just copy one of the current groups. So I'm going to copy guest. And then below it, you'll need to paste it. So once you've copied it, change the name to moderator. Change the alias to maybe MDT for moderator. Um, you want to remove is default as you don't want it to be the default group. Inheritance. So let's make it inherit the guest group permissions. So just create a new line and then add a dash underneath the I and type guest. And then you can change the permissions to be whatever you want to be. So if you go to this link in the description, this is a list of some of the permissions that are available for the default Pocketmine server. So here has got all the permissions for every command available in Pocketmine. So let's just say we want the um, moderator to be able to enable whitelist and add people to the whitelist. So you would just copy this, copy the permission node, and then paste it into the permissions list after removing the current ones. So paste that, and then if we create a new line again, and then if we paste the other one for adding people to the whitelist, and then again, just paste that in there. And now the moderator should have access to all of the guest commands and access to these two as well. So now that we've added a moderator group, we also want the administrators to have the same permissions as moderator, as an admin is generally higher up in the ranking than moderator. So if you change the inheritance to moderator, and that means the admin group will inherit all the all the commands from the moderator rank, and then it will also inherit the guest group because the moderator inherits guests too. So now that we made this change, click save, and then restart your server, and then join it, and we'll test this out. So once you've joined your server, you should be the guest rank. So you can test this by running a command which is assigned to the guest group. So if we go back to um, the control panel and take a look at the permissions file again, you can see that we should have the command slash list as we have pocketmine.command.list. So if we go back into the game and type slash list, I should have access to it and as you can see it came with it perfectly. So now if we go to the console in the control panel, and then we'll need to make myself a group. So if you type set group, and then the player name, so my player name is racerk12, 
and then you type the group that you want to add them to. So I want to add myself to the moderator group. And if you remember, the moderator group had a capital M. So you need to include capitals as well if the group name has a capital. So type the group name with the capital letters if there are any, and then click enter. And it should add that player to that group successfully. As you can see here, it came up with that. So now if I go back to the game, you can see that your group has been successfully changed to a moderator. So now if I try to enable the whitelist by typing slash whitelist on, you can see that I turned on the whitelist and I didn't have any permission problems at all. So that's basically how you edit and create groups from the control panel or the file manager. So if you go to this website, there's a link to it down in the description below. This is the Wikipedia for the Pure Perms plugin. So it includes all the information that you need to know and includes information from this tutorial too. So if you go to the commands section, you can see all of the available commands and it can teach you how to create or edit groups using just the commands. So let's say we wanted to create a new group in game, you would type forward slash add group. And before you do this, you need to make sure that your player is in the OP group. So again, you'd need to go back to the control panel. Then once you're on the control panel, you'll need to type set group, player name, so racerk 12 and then the group, which is OP. So if you do this and then click enter, you can see that I added myself to that group successfully. So now I have permission to do all the commands in game. So now that I've done this, I should be able to run this add group command. So if I go in game and then I open the chat and if I type slash add group and let's call it um, donator. So you can see I successfully created a group called donator. So if we go back and take a look at some of the other commands. So if we scroll down this list, you can see here that we can add a permission to the group. So the command for that is forward slash set G perm, which stands for group permission. Then we type the group name and the permission node that we want to give them. So if we go back in game and if we type slash set G perm, and then the group name that we just created, so it was donator. And if you did include any capital letters, you will need to include the capital letters as well here. And then let's type a permission node. So let's go back to the Wikipedia for the permissions. Let's say we want the players to be able to broadcast. So if you copy this, so it's pokemon.bro. And if we go back in game and paste that with control V on the keyboard or if we're on a Mac, it's command V and then click enter. You can see that we added the permission pocketmind.bro to the donator group. So if I was now to go into the donator group, I should be able to run that command without any problems at all. So if we go back to the commands page for pure perms again, you can undo that with the command forward slash unset g perm, and then you just do the exact same um, syntax after that. So if you press the up arrow, it brings up the last command that you wrote. So if we type slash unset, you can see that we've removed the permission from the group. So again, instead of adding permissions to groups, you can also add permissions to users and you can remove them from users too, just similar. So instead of typing slash set G perm, you would type slash set U perm, which stands for user permission. So you would just run the exact same command, but with U perm instead. So you can see there are some other helpful commands on here for, for example, slash um, list G perms, which lists all the permissions in the current group. So if I was to type um, slash list G perms, and then the group donator, it should come up with none, as you can see, because we, we removed the one that we added. Let's try administrator. So if we change that and then type admin, again with the capital A, because the group does have a capital A in the permissions file, you can see it lists all the permissions that this group has. And you can see it's got different pages. So if you wanted to view page two, you would type two, and then you can view the second page and then third would be just you'd type three instead of two. So this is basically all the commands that you need to know about pure perms. It's a really fantastic plugin that implements permissions into Minecraft Pocket Edition really nicely. So if you need any further help with this, just have a look at the wiki. If the wiki doesn't help, feel free to contact our support. You can contact them on our website and they'd be more than happy to help you. So thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped you. I hope that you have a great day. Goodbye.